Hello everyone, welcome to the Bucket List Reviews. My name is Gibran and this is the review of The Salesman, the new Iranian film directed by the master of a filmmaker, Asghar Farhadi. For those of you who are not familiar with him, Farhadi is arguably the leader of the new Iranian wave in cinema, especially of course after the tragic death of Abbas Kiarostami last year. His film A Separation won an Academy Award in 2012 and now his film The Salesman is yet again nominated for a Foreign Film Academy Award of 2017. The story centers around an Iranian couple who after an earthquake are forced to move to a new apartment. They both work as actors and are relatively happy with the current situation. But tragedy strikes when an intruder invades their home in the absence of the husband and now he is in search for the culprit throughout the film. Okay. This sounds way more dramatic than it actually is. As many of you might be familiar with art house Iranian cinema, they never like to over dramatize particular actor driven set pieces. There's no music heightening the tension, the escalation of a certain act comes naturally to the film and that in my opinion is an extremely smart and bold way of making films. But I have to be completely honest here, there isn't much I can criticize about this film cause it's absolutely magnificent. The performances are so utterly compelling from our two main leads, especially Shahab Hosseini that you're constantly wondering where the narrative of the film is taking you. Now apart from the main premise, the film is intercut between two major key elements of the film, the intruder story and the rehearsals for the upcoming theater play, the famous The Death of a Salesman by Arthur Miller. Now some of you who are somewhat familiar to Miller's work and political ideas, this just somehow baffles me a bit why Farhadi chose this particular play as an innuendo for the film. From what I understood, The Salesman is a drama which when literally disturbed by an earthquake in the beginning of the film, unveils the emotional facade that the couple are living under. But similar to the play, was this a clever depiction of workers alienation in a consumer based economic system? I'm not too sure about that. The salesman is a slow escalation of tension that rises till the end payoff of the film and the third act is where the film shines the most for me. The melodrama is kept to the minimum in the film and instead the filmmaker cleverly focuses on the dynamics of the relationship of the couple instead. And as you can imagine, there are a lot of restrictions in Iranian cinema what can or cannot be shown on screen. But by now, many brilliant Iranian filmmakers can cleverly portray the sensual human emotions without the opposite sex even touching one another. You hear that western cinema? Gratuitous nudity is not always the answer. There's so much more I can talk about the film, but I would rather not indulge in the spoiler section. But what really intrigued me the most is the visual setup of the film. There are several intercut scenes where a quasi drama scene occurs and right in the next scene, you have the main protagonist removing their makeup in the theater studio, perhaps indicating the blurred lines between fiction and reality. I think the naturally realistic scenes that take place in the classroom and the apartment, followed by the dramatically lit and colored theater set pieces, really create a stark contrast of what we as an audience should take into consideration. The main protagonists of the film are naturally flawed beings, but somehow the stance is very keenly justified. The search for the culprit from Husseini's character starts off as a quest for justice for his wife, but ends up being more as an ego trip by the end of the film. And honestly, I would have probably acted the same way. Or not. But great films are the ones which always leave you guessing for alternative answers rather than a concrete solution. Last but not least, there's something I'm always left wondering when I watch an Asghar Faradi film. His films are always slightly critical of the Iranian political system, but yet, his films aren't outrightly banned like Jafar Panahi films, and The Salesman is no exception. Why is that? Of course this is not a complaint against the filmmaker, but just a commentary on the Iranian censor board. Maybe it has to do with connections? I don't know. Now of course, I cannot ignore the political backdrop that the film is going through at the moment. Due to the on and off so called Muslim ban, Farhadi has refused to travel to the US for the Academy Award ceremony. And it would be quite a shame if he's not there, cause the salesman I believe may very well win the Academy Award for Best Foreign Film. The salesman has already won Best Actor for Shahab Husseini and Best Screenplay at the Cannes Film Festival in 2016 and deservingly so I might add. The film is undoubtedly another masterwork from Farhadi in my opinion. While I don't believe The Salesman is a better film than his previous one, A Separation, it still holds up as one of the best films of 2016. The only major criticism that sticks out for me is the connection of the main plot of the film with the intricate theater set pieces. Maybe it's not too clear for me at the moment, but given Farhadi's track record, the reasoning is probably somehow present. And I'll give this film a 4 stars out of 5. So. That was my review of The Salesman. My next video is gonna be, drum roll, the top 10 films of 2016. So don't forget to check that out. And as always, like, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see each other next time. So, ciao.